Let's draw the Lewis structure for sodium fluoride. Sodium is a metal because it comes from the left-hand side of the staircase. It's an alkali metal, if you know the name of that group. Fluorine is a non-metal. It comes from the right-hand side of the staircase. That group's called the halogens, but that's neither here nor there. Metal and non-metal will combine to form an ionic compound. That means there's a transfer of electrons from one to the other. Sodium is in group one, and so brings one valence electron with it. There we go, I drew it. Fluorine is in group 17. All of those atoms bring seven valence electrons. I remember that because all the atoms in group 17 bring seven. Get it? Seven, whatever. Bring seven valence electrons and you have to know that. Now, fluorine wants eight electrons to have a full octet. Sodium wants to give away all its electrons because that's what metals do. So if sodium can give away its one electron to fluorine and give fluorine a full octet, then everyone's happy. The metal has given up its electrons. The nonmetal has accepted electrons and they both get together to form ions. Na will have lost its electron. So I'm gonna draw it without any dots because electrons moved from one place to another, I have to put square brackets around it and say what its new charge is. Because it lost an electron, it gets a plus one charge. Fluorine, on the other hand, brought seven valence electrons and now has the eighth one that came from sodium. It also gets square brackets because it accepted a new electron and gets a charge of minus one. Now we only need one of each of these atoms to give this a full octet and to give this an empty outer shell. So this is it, one and one, NAF, Lewis structure complete. Not too bad, best of luck.